Um, well, like I said before, you know, if you have six kids, is the seventh one easier than the first? Yeah. I couldn't tell you that, but it's some but, you things know, get easier, some things get harder, and you yeah, get older, and exactly. the body doesn't take as much abuse, and you get tireder. And well, I wouldn't know about tireder. That. Is that a word? No, that's not a word. I think so. <laughs> but um, I, I would say it hasn't really gotten easier. But we've I've gotten it more I'm down to a, a routine. Yeah. We've gotten it more down yeah. to a. a over the years, John and I have perfected our relationship to now where we're, we're like the first couple of years we're stepping on each other's toes because we didn't know what our strengths and what our weaknesses were. So yeah, now I John and I, idea the show yeah, and he had his. And now, time. yeah, and now we, it's almost like we read each other's minds. And you know, he gets grumpy, I get grumpy, but we both don't get grumpy at the same time because we both know that you know. Yeah, we both can't get grumpy keep at that. the same yeah, time. Well, I have to and, tell you, when I first met you guys in the first couple of years, and I got to know the different person personalities in YouTube because I know when you had the comic book store and you'd call, mm -hmm. when this is happening, when this can't happen. And so then I'd call John and he'd go, oh, don't worry about it. And I'd go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then i feel better. So I'd always call John after I talked to Stuart to calm me down a little well, bit. The other thing that made it a little bit easier this year is that the construction crew kind of just took over. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I still have, I still have my need for guidance and all that, but you know, they, they just basically decided, okay, this is what we're going to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is how we're going to do it. And I said, okay. They're the ones who said, decided to start construction in July. Not That's yes. good. That's good. Now, let me ask you this, too. What is uh, the motivation for you and, and all the people that work for you? Because everybody's volunteers. We're insane. We love the show. That's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Yeah. Is everybody that is up there and spending all that time really loves doing the show. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what it's all about. It's, mm -hmm. it's just about doing the show. Well, it's, you know, it, it's a family thing, too. And there's, there's, you know, other, we're like a family and everyone, like, I don't want to let John down. John doesn't want to let, but John doesn't want to let me down. Uh, Kareen, Mickey, Vicky, all of the Jen, everybody. We want to make everybody. sure that everybody feels yeah. appreciated. And, right. Yeah, and, and, but they're all feel like they're part of this family and that they're because all they in, they're all very integral parts of this family mm -hmm. so that's a lot of it yeah. and for me a lot of it too is um, I have a cousin who used to work on the Haunted Woods with me who passed away in 1990 and he loved the show also and that's part of what keeps it going for me too mm -hmm. well, that's good why well, know I feel the same way after the six years getting to know everybody and I look forward uh, I don't look forward to all the work that's involved mm -hmm. but I look forward to seeing everybody again and, mm -hmm. and actually when the event starts everybody has a really good time and when the yep. stress level goes yeah. down a little bit, then yep. you can relax and have a good time. So. Oh, yeah. It's and addictive. It's, a, it's, it's a, habit it's, forming. Yeah, it's yeah. a great great group of people. It should be registered as a controlled substance. Now, are you, are you still looking for volunteers? <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> so um, are you still looking for volunteers? Probably not up at the warehouse. Uh, no, we could, we could still use help on on move in. We always yeah. need help moving in any able bodies with with you know trucks or anything like that. Um, and same thing for takedown, which is starts the day after we close, which would be November second. We'll start pulling things out of the park. Yeah. We always need That's, help for that. This Saturday, this Saturday we move into the park. This so. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, is, uh, Monday, Tuesday, October Wednesday, Thursday, fourteenth, ten o'clock up at the up at, at the, the novitiate, the, or you can meet us at the park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just have people you know, show up. You know what's a lot of fun about moving to is driving down the middle of North Santa Cruz Boulevard. With got, Godzilla's, with Godzilla's head on the back of your truck. truck. <laughs> That's awesome. That's and just great. watching people look. I cannot believe it is here again so again. fast. It just What's not to believe? It feels like I was just July. sitting on this couch. <laughs> You were just sitting on this couch. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, the year goes by so fast, but then, of course, Halloween used to be one day for me. Now it's like six months, so mm -hmm. oh, yeah. that makes a big size difference. It. It's always Halloween in our world. Yes. <laughs> well, we got to go. It's uh, about that time. Yeah. And um, we got to get up to the warehouse and work on more and stuff. Yeah. We'll, we'll have you back again. Oh, I want to mention, too, uh, for the audience, for those of you who don't know this, John is the one who designed our police connection and our police <laughs> news update set. Actually, myself and my wife, Lydia. And Lydia, of and course. One we, we awesome. teamed up on this. Yeah. That's pretty half cool. of it was her idea and half of it was mine. So anyway, well, uh, that's a, it for tonight. And of course, we'll have you on next year. And I'll see you guys for oh, next year. every day for the next two weeks. That's so. about the size of it. <laughs> All right. And then, yeah, we'll be seeing you almost every day until about the middle of November. Uh -huh. Thanks, Stuart. <laughs> Thanks, John. And uh, if you would like more information on the 6th Annual Haunted Forest event, you can call me at 354-6842 or check out the Haunted Forest website at www.hauntedforest.org. You can purchase tickets for the train and carousel at Collector's Corners at 481 North Santa Cruz Avenue in Los Gatos, directly across from the Safeway store. And wait a minute, John, I think on this part, why don't, why don't we have Eddie <laughs> cue up the...
the news in the next part. Oh, hang on a second. Here, hold my glasses. Here, hold my glasses. You did such a good job. Next on Police Connection is Sergeant Tam McCarty and Sergeant and retired, retired, he retired, somebody let him off of this game. Retired Sergeant Dick Parsons with the police news update. But before we go to Tam and Dirk, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look at last year's Haunted Forest highlights, especially me. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, John. Sorry, little. annual Haunted Forest event is just around the corner. Once again, the Haunted Forest Phantom Express 2000 will be held at Oak Meadow and Basona Parks in Los Gatos. On Friday, October 20th, the Billy Jones Wildcat Railroad turns into the Phantom Express and will gladly accept passengers for 10 nights this year through Halloween night, Tuesday, October 31st. The event begins every night at 7 p.m. and features carnival games, great prizes, a free walking tour, barbecue food, snacks, gifts, and just a great night of fun. Tickets go on sale beginning Saturday, October 7th, seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Collector's Corner, located at 481 North Santa Cruz Avenue, directly across from the Safeway Store in Los Gatos. If you'd like more information on this event, or would like to find out how you can volunteer to help out, please contact Gwen Cross at the Los Gatos Monte Serena Police Department at 354-6842. We hope to see you all at the park.